हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियो फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्क अवर यूट्यूब चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टूडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट लैंग्राज इंटरपोलेशन फॉर अनइक्वल इंटरवल वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इक्वल इंटरवल देन वी हैव न्यूटन फॉरवर्ड न्यूटन बैकवर्ड स्टर्लिंग गॉज फॉरवर्ड गॉज बैकवर्ड बेसेल आई हैव अपलोडेड ऑल दीज वीडियो If you haven't seen it, you can go and see it. Now the point is that whenever we have unequal intervals and they ask a particular value there, here two formulas are used. One is Langrage and the other is Newton's divided difference. In today's class, I will cover Langrage and then I will tell you about Newton's divided difference. Okay, let's start. so if we have any value like i tell you that we have here we are given x0 x1 x2 x3 and its corresponding values are fx0 fx1 and fx2 and then fx3 is given so here if they ask a particular value from you how will you find it let's take an example okay let's say we have this this is x and this is fx so here it's 2 here it's 5 here it's 9 and here it's 11 its corresponding is 100 it is 111 and here it is 117 and we have 125 and you are asked what is the value of f10 its value at 10 as you can see this is an unequal interval here we have a difference of 3 and here difference is of 4 then there is a difference of only 2 right so here we can't use newton forward backward we can't use stirling or basel right so here we have to use langrage formula only now see how do we use this formula there is no need to memorize this formula i will tell you a trick and using it you can very easily learn Now let's understand what is the method. I will explain you through a question, and you can try to learn the formula with help of it. Okay? Whenever we have any questions, we'll say this x zero, this x one, x two, x three, and this x four. And here its corresponding are f x zero, f x one, f x two, and f x three. And this will be f x four, right? And what is he saying? Can you get the value for f five? So as we are asked the value of f five. So first we will write the formula here. F x is equal to what you have to do is you don't have to remember the formula. You can hide it, hide the one, right? And here we hide the one. So what do we get here? X minus two. Am I right? X minus two. Then x minus three. Then x minus four. And then x minus seven. Divided by what did you hide? One was hidden like this. Put one in place of x. One minus two. One minus three. End one minus four, end one minus seven multiplied by this value will come here. Okay, this will come right. Plus so next the value we have here, what will it be? Now we will hide two here, so it will be x minus one, x minus three, x minus four, x minus seven. Right? Divided by what is hidden here? If we hide two, then it is two minus one. Wherever we have x, we will put two. It's two minus three, two minus four, two minus seven. Multiplied by the value that we get will be what? It will be four. Here we'll do once more. Now we will hide the three. So what do we get? We will get x minus one, then x minus two, and x minus four, then x minus seven. Right? Divided by what? Wherever we have x, we will put three there. Right? So it will be what? It will be three minus one, three minus two, three minus four, three minus seven into its corresponding value will come here, which is eight. Now plus what are we going to do next? So now we will hide four. So it will be x minus one, x minus two, x minus three, x minus seven, right? Divided by what was hidden. Okay, we will put four here. So four minus one, then four minus two, and then four minus three. Four minus seven. We will multiply it with its corresponding value, which is sixteen. Okay. Plus, what will we do now? We will hide the seven there. We will hide it, right? So here we have what? It will be x minus one. Then x minus two, then x minus three, then x minus four. After that, divided by seven minus one, right? Seven minus two, okay? Seven minus three and seven minus four. Is it clear? Yes. So here we have one hundred twenty-eight. Now we need to find the value of what? Value of f five, right? So what we will do? Where there is x, we will put five there. So wherever we have x, we will put five there. Then five minus two is three. If you keep five, then five minus three. Is two if we put five here, then five minus four is one. If we put five here, then we will get minus two here, right? And divided by so the difference here we have is minus one. This we have is minus two, and this we have is minus three. 
we have minus 6 here, it will be into 2, plus here we will put 5 now, this x will be replaced by 5, then we will put, okay, so 5 minus 1 is 4, then 5 minus 3 is 2, so we will put it here then, this will be 1, then we will put it here then, minus 2 divided by, this will be 1, this will be minus 1, and this will be minus 2, this will be minus 5 into 4, right, and then plus, listen now, we will keep 5 here, we will place 5 here, so when we subtract them from 5, it will be 4, then we will have 3, then we will have 1, then we will have minus 2, okay, understood, and then after that, down here, it will be 2, then it will be 1, then it will be minus 1, then it will be minus 4, we will multiply it by 8, plus now we put 5 as the value of x, if you subtract 1 from 5, then it will be 4, then here it will be 3, and then here it will be 2, right? And if this 7 will be subtracted from 5, then it will be minus 2. Am I right, students? And if we put it here, then it will be 3, it will be 2, this will be 1, and this will be minus 3. It will be into 16, right? Plus, let's keep it here too. Wherever there is x, we will put 5 there, okay? So here, this will be 4, then this will be 3, right? This will be 2, and this will be 1, okay? Divided by, so this will be 6, this will be 5, this will be 4 and this will be 3 multiplied by 128. Now this needs attention, try to understand a little trick that I am trying to explain. How many total minus values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, there are 5 negative values, right? So it will be negative here. Students, this needs focus. It will be minus, now cancel it, 3 and 2 got cancelled from 3 and 2. This will be cancelled, so 3 then here the value will be 2 by 3. Now here count minus 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 minus here, so it will be plus, right? From here, what's getting cancelled? 2 is cancelled with 2 and 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 4 is 32. And in denominator, 5. Count the minus here. 1, 2, 3 minus. It means it will be negative. Okay, 4 and 2 will be cancelled by 4 and 2. 8 times 3 will be 24, right? Here count the minus. 1, 2, it will be plus. Now 3 and 2 are cancelled by 3 and 2. Then the rest is not cancelled. So 4 2s are 8. 16 by 8, it will be 1, 1, 8 by 3. So please focus everyone, here we have all positive values, so it will be positive. Next we have here, we will cancel 4 and 3 by 4 and 3 then, we will cancel it by 2. So this will be 3, then it will be 128 by 15. Okay students, now we can easily solve this with the help of a calculator and the answer we will get will be 32.93. So this way we can easily do it. Let's start next question. You can check the calculations and before the next question, I want to tell you that if you are preparing for CSIR NetGate or IIT JAM exam, then our books will be very helpful. They are available on Amazon. You can find it on Flipkart also. I will tell you the next question that we have here is the following value of fx for the value of x are given. This, this and this means the value of f1 is 4, the value of f2 is 5, the value of f7 is 5. The value of f8 is 4, so first find the value of f6 and then also find the value of x for which fx is maximum or minimum. The question asked for which value of x will fx be maximum or minimum. So we need to find the polynomial first. Let's see how to do it. So we have x here and this here is fx. So the value of x is this inside one, right? 1, 2, 7, 8, right? The corresponding values are given as 4, 5, 5 and 4, okay? Only this much is given, right, students? Now I will tell you that we need to understand how to write the formula. Firstly, we will calculate fx. So here we will hide 1, right? Hide 1, right? So we will get x minus 2, then x minus 7, x minus 8, okay? Divided by wherever we have x put 1. So 1 minus 2, 1 minus 7, 1 minus 8 multiplied by 4. Plus, what will we get back here? Now look, we will hide this 2, right? We will hide it, so we will get x minus 1 x minus 7, x minus 8, and then after that, here we have 2 minus 1, 2 minus 7, and 2 minus 8 into 5. This is the formula, right? You will say, sir, what is this hiding thing? I don't understand. Okay, so next we will hide 7. So it will be x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 8, right? So we hide 7, and wherever there is x, we will put 7. The 1 that we hide, we put it at the place of x, 7 minus 8 into and from here it will give us the value which will be 5. Next, we will hide 8 and get x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 7, right? Divided by, here we will have 8 minus 1, then after that 8 minus 2, then here we will have what? 8 minus 7, okay? Into from here, what will be the value of this? 4. Now we have to factorize it for which we have to do a little magic. 
So look from the first one here. What is common in these two? One is x minus 7 and other is x minus 8. So after taking common from them, we have x minus 7 and x minus 8 is common. So students, what will be left here? Here we will have x minus 2 into 4. Divided by from here, we will be left with its value minus 1 and minus 6 and minus 7. This will be the value left, right? Understood? Plus here we are left with x minus 1 into 5 divided by what's left here. Yes, we have 1 left here. We have minus 5 left here. We have a minus 6 left. This will be left. Clear? Now, what will be common from these two? From these two, we have x minus 1, x minus 2. Is it visible? Take out the common. x minus 1, x minus 2, we have taken it out, right? What remains inside? It is 5 into 2, x minus 8. Divided by from here, we have 6. From here, we have 5, right? And from here, we have minus 1. Okay, students? And then from here, we will have 4 into x minus 7 divided by. So, from here, we will get 7. From here, we will get 6. And from here, we will get 1, right? We will get this value. Now, pay attention, please. We need to do a little bit of calculation, okay? So, students, from here, we have this value, which is fx is equal to, yes, it will be x square minus 15x plus 56. This value will come. Now, here, if you see, 4 and 3 are cancelled. Here and since we have minus minus three times. So this will be minus and here two will be left. So we will multiply two inside. It will be 2x minus 4 divided by what will we have here? Yes. 7 times 3 is 21, right? Please look here. 5 and 5 gets cancelled and minus minus is plus. So plus x minus 1 will be 6. So now when we solve this, it will be x square minus 3x plus 2 and from here, if we find its value, then it will be 5 cancels out with 5. So minus will come out, okay? I will write it here, minus x, minus 8 divided by, we will have what here? Yes, 6. And when you see here, you will cancel 4 from 6. Then it will be 2 and below we will have plus 2x minus 14 divided by and below here we have 21. Okay, students. So finally, what will we have here? fx is equal to and here x square minus 15x plus 56. Here we will take its LCM. We will take LCM of 42. So this will be multiplied by 2. So it will be minus 4x and here we will have minus minus plus and here we will have 8 and here we will have 7. So yes, it is 7, right? So this will be plus 7x minus 7. So here we have the value of this, okay? Plus I will write this is x square minus 3x plus 2 and here also we will take the LCM of 42, right? When we take the LCM of 42, then it will be 7. So this will become minus of 7x and minus minus plus and this will be 7 times 8 is 56. So it's 56. And when we will do this, it will be 2. So here it will be plus 4x and minus 28. Okay. Is it clear students? Now, what should we do? fx is equal to here we have this value, which will be x square minus 15x plus 56. Down here, this will be 42. And then we will solve it here. Here for x minus 7x. So we have 3x left and plus 1. This will be the value here. Are you all understanding? Plus again, here also we will have its value which is x square minus 3x plus 2 divided by 42. And when we will solve this, so this will be minus 3x and here we will have 28 in minus and here we will have 56, okay? So here its value will be 28, okay? We will do it this way here. Clear to all? Now what are we going to do? Listen carefully. I will take this 42 out. Now pay attention in this first when x square is multiplied by 3x. So here we will have x cube and here also we will have x cube. But this minus 3x cube and this plus 3x cube will be cancelled out. You need to understand this. Okay. x square will be multiplied. With this we will take x square common. Then this will be 1. So on multiplying then 15 times 3 is 45. It will be minus 45. From here we will get two terms of x square end. When we multiply x square by 28, we will get 28 here end. When we multiply minus 3x minus 3x, this will be plus. So it will be 9. So here we have all the coefficients of x square. Now we will talk about what is the coefficient of x. Now about the x coefficient. So what we have is when minus 15x gets multiplied by 1, we get minus 15. And when 56x gets multiplied by 3, so we will have 168 and when we talk about this, here we have to multiply minus 3x by 28, okay? Then we will have what? So this will be minus 84 and when it gets multiplied by this, it will be minus 6. So this will be the coefficient of x. Now we will talk about the constant. So from here, we have 56 and from here also we have 56, okay? Is it clear? 
So from here, we will get its value and when we will calculate it, then if x is equal to, okay, from here, we get its value, which is minus 7x square. So this will be 63x plus here, its value will be 112. Now, if you look, 7 is common here and if you take out 7 common, here it will be 1 by 6, right? We will cancel it by 7. So it will be minus x square and this will be plus 9x and plus. So when we divide this by 7, okay, then this here will be 16, right? So listen, we have a polynomial. Now it's being asked that what is the value of f6? Firstly, let's deal with f6. If we talk about f6, we don't have to do anything. Wherever we find x, you just put the value of 6 there, okay? So it will be 1 by 6 and here we have its value will be minus 36 and when we will keep 6 here. So from here, we will get 6 times 9 is 54 and from here, we will get plus 16, right? So it is 16 and this will give us 60 and 70 and here from 70, we will subtract 36 and we get 34. So students, it will be 34 upon 6, that is 17 by 3. So here we will get its value. Okay, everyone, from now on, if we will be asked what is the maximum and minimum value, then there is nothing to do. We will assume it as y, okay? If we talk about maxima and minima, then y is equal to, it will be 1 by 6, x square plus 9x and plus 16. Here we have minus, now what will we do? We will find out y dash, so y dash will be what? It will be 1 by 6, this will be minus 2x plus 9 is equal to 0. It will go to 0, so from here we have the value of x, it will be 9 by 2. Now we will see its double order derivative. What is double order derivative? We will talk about y double dash. It will be minus 2 by 6, which is less than 0. This means that at this point, this function of y, it will be what? It will maximize, right? It means that x is equal to 9 by 2, the y will be what? It will maximize. So, we are asked what is the maximum value of this. So, there is nothing to do. Whatever answer we have in this, okay? At the place of x, what will we put? We will put 9 by 2 here, right? Wherever you see an x here, what are we going to do is this fx that we have. This is y. So, wherever we have x, we will put 9 by 2. So, this will give us 1 by 6. And here it will be minus 81 by 24 plus and here it will be 81 by 2 plus 16 and if we simplify this. So final answer will be 6.041. This will be the maximum value here. So this way you can solve this question very easily. So this question is for the comment box. How much time did it take for you to solve this? Please tell in the comments if you want to see more videos of numerical analysis. You will find the complete playlist here if you are preparing for CSIR net gate or IIT jam exam and want to improve your general aptitude. You can go and watch these videos here. Go and subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.